Hello, this is Guy Grant, your Spring Hill, Florida Realtor, and I'm coming to you today with some news about the real estate market. Um, first off, nationally, that's NAR, that's the National Association of Realtors, say that pending sales have been up for the second month in a row. That's nationally. Florida uh, is not just the last month that came up. But nationally, pending sales rose 8%. That's across the whole country, so um, that that's a really good thing. Um, the pending sales, these are new pending sales, that would be anything that went into pending in January, jumped from so just under 17,000 to just under 23,000. So that's a real nice significant bump for uh, homes that went into pending in January. So when we do finally get the closed sales numbers for February, um, they should look pretty good. There should be a, a, a nice significant bump for February. Unfortunately, we don't get the closed sales numbers for February until almost the third week of March. So some of this is a little bit of speculation, but this is what we use to, to kind of gauge what's going on. Same thing with the pending inventory. Um, these are homes, these are all the homes that are in pending uh, during the month of January, whether they went into pending yesterday or whether they went into pending three months ago and they're still waiting for something to get straightened out to work the deal out. Um, but that that's a good sign. And uh, the other thing is that sale prices have uh, popped back up here as well, which uh, fairly significantly. So all of those are good, strong signs for, uh, for the economy, um, at least for the real estate economy. Um, inflation is still higher than it should have, should be. And I think that's what's causing the rates to go up a little bit. Uh, government still keeps spending money they don't have, unfortunately. Um, but uh, some of these, this one speculator says that uh, this year nationally home prices will decline by 1.6% in 23 before taking off again in 24 and getting a 3% uh, increase. So the, the main gist is y you can't wait for interest rates to come back down because the government keeps spending money and that causes inflation and that keep, means the Fed's not going to be lowering rates anytime soon. But sale prices keep going up. So the sooner you can get uh, start building equity uh, and owning a home, the better, better off you're going to be. Um, so if there's anything I can do for you, please get a hold of me. Thanks.